top 10 five for Rangers. John Rocker on a relief to try and save the win. There's Erstead again. He drives it down the right field line. Jose Nieves scores. David Eckstein the winning run. He plates and just like that, the Angels are 6-5 winners and Erstead is the hero with his 43rd career game winning RBI. Rocker for his bone against David Eckstein. Eckstein hit a grand slam on Saturday. He did it again on Sunday. Ninth player in history to hit the first two grand slams of his career in consecutive games. The monkey and the monkey shines. Troy Gloss with a go home run off of Fernando Rodney. And the Angels win 3 to believe in the power of the rally monkey. Home run ties it at four in a fraggle rock, but in the bottom of the ninth, two out. And he's trying duck under gloss. Send him. David Eckstein. Shake. And the Angels. Wow. Team Tim Salmon. Uh-oh. First pitch he sees from Jack Crescent is gone. And the Angels win 4-3. Bottom of the 10th for Troy Gloss. First dead does not Gloss. Goes Gloss to Says, let's go home. Let's just go home. Just like that, the Angels win 7-5. Hideki Arabu, 1-3, two blown saves. The bottom of the 10th, David Eckstein, 2 for 5 in the game off Esteban Yan. It gets booted in the infield. Scott Spezio comes in to score. Tampa Bay, they have dropped nine road games in a row. Monkey. Monkey. Got the rally monkey going. Kim Salmon right off his cuticles, but he puts it in a perfect spot. The whoop single does it. Jose Nieves comes in to score, and there is 12. Now the bottom of the 12th off Acevedo. Troy Gloss lines it in a left center. Sean Wooten scores from second without a throw. And the Angels win it 7-6 in game. Two outs now. Scott Spezio up. And he rips this one off the wall. And the Angels take the last three games of this exciting four-game set and win 7-6. And we are now tied. Bottom of 11. Rob Barajas, reserve catcher, facing Matt Hurgis. Tatis can't handle it. That plate's Steve Finley. Bottom nine, 4-4, four, four, Junior Spivey. Walk off, Junior. Off Jose Mesa, his fourth shilling. Gets the no decision, but the Diamondbacks win 5-4. Oh, those Phillies. Nine, to the bottom of the 10th of Rush Springer. David DeLucci, down the line. Steve Dorsal Finley will score. And the Diamondbacks. Jim Mann, the 13th and final pitcher used in the game facing Gonzo. Gonzo up the middle. Arubio Durazo coming around. And here comes the throw. Durazo safe. D-backs win 5-4. Zona 5-1 and one in extra innings. Jays have a 3-2 lead, but in the ninth, we're locked up at three. And Rod Barajas, a hopper to third. Pinsky coming home. And Quentin McCracken's going to take the well for the ball club, scoring the winning run. The Diamondbacks with the walk-off bounce. Didn't go around, so he's still alive to provide the game-winning base hit off of Trevor Hoffman. Spivey in scoring position because he was able to steal second, come on down, and Bochi giving meals an earful. What a day. To the bottom of the night, Braden Looper, Arubio Durazo, and get off me ball! And hey, wait a minute, you don't look like the regular pool boy. That's it. That's all. Bottom nine now, 6-5 Giants. Nobody out. Base is loaded to Dave DeLucci, and he rips one into the right field corner. Two runs will come into score, and Rob Nen blows a chance to close out the game as the D-backs come up with a huge win here. The final in this one, seven. A 24th win. We go all the way to the bottom of the 13th and 21. Just serves it to left. Felix Jose, please. Comes to score the winning run in the D-backs. They're winners. Satoru Komiyama, and apparently the Japanese word for careful and meatball are very similar because on the first pitch after the conference, Giles parks it. Braves win it 5-2, latest game inning home. Javi Lopez. Jumps all over that ball, over a ball and base hit. George Lombard out there, couldn't get it, and the Braves come back. And they win this down 2-0. Two, two outs, 5-5 five, five ball game. Rip that. No, oh, no. Tatis trying to handle it, trying to make some sort of effort to get the out. Doesn't work. And the Braves get the win. Bottom nine, Gary Sheffield against Dave Veers. One for 15 in his career against Veers. Here's John Miller. That one, it did left center, but 
Pujols looks up. It's gone. He hit it one-handed. Can you believe the pitch that Sheffield took out? Adder Chipper Jones in. Here we go. Little Larry. It is 1-1 one, one pitch. That's a drive out to right field. Kaplan back, and you can kiss it goodbye. Atlanta wins it on back-to-back -back home runs in the bottom of the ninth. Loaded Conine. Omar Vizquel winning two. We got to get two. No. Good hustle down the line by Jeff Conine. Jerry Hairston scores the winning run. So the bases are loaded later in the inning. It's Geronimo Heel. This guy's had a great year to right. Ichiro is underneath it. The throw home to get Brian Roberts. The pinch runner is offline, and the Orioles win 8-7. They win after trailing 5-0 in the... Th Orioles won on a sack fly Friday. Down the right field line Saturday. Matthews and Singleton score. Third blown save for Sasaki. O's win in dramatic fashion 4-3. Third straight game in which the Seattle bullpen lost... The Not the nasty hook. No, it's... He's just given up a home run to the very first batter he faced in the major leagues, courtesy Tony Batista, who unties things and ends the game, and there's Trujillo. Tough first day of work, but you know... Their chance, bottom nine, Steve Carse, a little hanger there, Mike. A little elevation, but a great job by Tony Batista with the two strikes on him, putting the bat on the ball, making things happen. I tell you, those Orioles, some kind of fighter. Arte finally gets Luis Matos swinging to end the inning, and then in the bottom of the 14th, Brooke Fordyce finally, mercifully, ends this baseball game as Tony Batista comes around. Orioles win it in 14 innings. Tampa Bay is leading the major leagues and hitting with the bases loaded. Oh! Soup, you know what they call that in Baltimore? I... A boob what? That's right, that too, but we... Started in high school, could have played football, quarterback at Nebraska, and he chose baseball, and baseball is better for it. We go to the 11th. One out, two men on. Tony Batista at the plate. Jerry Hairston coming around to score. The Orioles win it. 3-2. They... They Carlos Baerga. The liner to center. Bernie Williams. He's got that. Ricky. He's still got good pins at this age. Helps it and bounces away off the mound. Everybody happy. The Red Sox win it 9 2. Run out at the plate earlier, but a chance for heroics against Scott Shields. The 2 2. David turns on it, sends it to right. Down towards the corner. That is up and it is gone. Oh, my goodness. Johnny David, a walk off home run. The Red Sox come all the way back and win it 10 9. Out. Good play in the field. How about the dish in the bottom of the ninth? Swing a high drive. Oh, yeah. Deep left center. Oh, Cubs yeah. are going to win. Cubs win on a home run by Alex Gonzalez. And the final is 6 5 Cubs. Tomorrow from Brian Kenny and Ron Sandoval. Oh, no. Up. Bottom nine, tied at three, John Rocker. Meet Alex Gonzalez. Good gracious, with all these great home run hitters in this game, it's Alex Gonzalez with his second career walk-off homer. Both coming this season, but this one off of John Rocker. I'm 16. Angel Echeverria facing Carl Pavano. He's another new fish. Preston Wilson, on the case. He's got it, and oh! Ouch! Stupid wall! Corey Patterson comes in to score the winning run. Wilson said there isn't much of a cushion. When he hit it, I was on a dead run, and that he was. If it was the NFL, it would have been a catch two feet down, but the ball comes out. Wilson, he's day-to-day. -day. The Marlins, they fall. Two on is Fred McGriff. Rough. That's down. Steins to score. Boa is not happy. All four Cubs in the ninth reach base. Mesa blows a seventh save and 32 chances, but he got a little help there at first base. McGriff and the Cubs win its 17th home run of the year. Five losses in a row at home for the Cubs. Let's change that. Trevor Hoffman's 0-2 pitch lined by Alex Gonzalez into right center and Delano DeShields coming in to score. Cubs end a three-game losing streak just like that. Let's go to high tops. Pitch to Moises Alou. Goodbye. Number 10, a game-winning blast for Alou. It's three for six, and the Cubs win in dramatic fashion by the score of six to four. Bottom nine, 2-2 two -two game, Joe Girardi. Chicago, where well, they packed that heat. Rob, other teams in the night, Creek Creek. We'll see you later when I'm in them streets. Just Joe Girardi's ninth RBI of the year, and it comes at a seriously great time. Nine. You can cut the tension with a knife at Wrigley. Oh. Alex Gonzalez, 17th of the year. It's a walk-off homer, and the Cubs win it. Anyway, 
two or three infielders on the right side, and after intentionally walking Thomas, doesn't matter. They needed to put one over there. Well, he's Clayton. They needed a short fielder like they got in softball out there with the keg. Put a keg out there. He didn't get much of it, but just enough. Snaps it off. He got a little kindling, but that's all right with him. He's a hero. Four, bottom of the tenth. Here comes that man again. It's Creedy. Swing and a long one. Left field. This is a grand slam. And a White Sox winner, Joe Creedy, drives in six runs in the last two innings. <laughs> uh, that's a good two innings. That's John Rooney of ESPN Radio. Time for Joe Creedy to come up. Another one of those young players getting a lot of PT, and he'll make an impact next season for them. We're talking about PT, guys that are not getting PT. Royce. In the air. Soto over tagging his Larkin. Here Soto's his throw. Here comes Barry. Gets what? He is safe, and the Reds win. The Reds win. How about that? What a way to start the last year at Synergy. Sean Casey facing Graham Lloyd. Jason LaRue will come plate word with the winning run. Red 6-5 in 10 innings. Still bottom 10. Two outs. Bases loaded for LaRue. That's going to bring home Dunn, and that is the winning run as the Reds celebrate. They avoid the three-game switch. Jeremy Giambi in the playoffs. He's got a slide there. Bottom nine, Juan Encarnacion plates Austin Kearns, and the Reds win four to three. Pete Boone up again, and this time it's the game-winning blast. Yep, 4-3. Reds get the victory. Both those shots off Mike Williams. The first can make it up for an 0-6 day. Bottom 13, Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, we haven't called his name that much this year, but... There he is, game-winning, walk-off, two-run home run, his fourth home run of the year, his only hit of the ball game, and the Reds come back to win it 6-4 in 13 innings. Look at Junior. Just get across the plate. <laughs> it's Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone, dare I say, and Fuego, at least in this series. Four home runs in the series, 22 on the season. The Reds sweep San Diego, winning it 9-7. Boone's fourth career walk-off home run. That's as many as Ken Griffey Jr. and Alex Rodriguez combined. Woodwork. He got it. First walk-off home run of his career. This is one I'm definitely going to bottle up, he said. Sixth home of the year. Reds win at 2-1 in 10 innings. The Rockies in. He deals. In the dirt all the way to the back set. Here comes Diaz. A game winning. A wild pitch by Grimsley. Ends the ball. to mount. Get high and deep to right. This ball has got a chance. Go on, the Indians win it. Oh, what a comeback for the Indians. Down 5-4 in the ninth inning. Matt Lawton unloads against Julio. The set in the pitch. Swung on. This is hit down the right field line. This is going to drop for a base hit. It'll bounce into the corner. On his way to third, Gutierrez. He'll be waved home. He's going to score the game winner. Magruder in with a triple. Drive wins. Diaz running. Vizquel hits it high. Hits it deep to right center. Mondesi on the run. This ball off the wall. Diaz in the third. Ball ricochets to center. The Indians will win. Diaz scores. Vizquel right behind him. The 2-2 offering. Swung on, hit high and deep down the right field line. Spencer at the wall. This ball. Good. A grand slam. Bill Selby. A grand slam. Down the right field line. The 2-2 pitch. Swung on a drill. Deep center field. Goal. The pitch. Swung on drill. Deep left field. Down the line it goes. This ball off the wall. Toby around third. He'll score the game winner. Kareem Garcia with a walk-off shot off the wall and left. The pitch. Swung on. Hit high and deep to right. Suzuki. He's at the wall. This ball gone. A game winner. How about that? Josh Bar. 
his first major league home run. A walk-off. And the pitch to Garcia. He swings and hits it high. Deep to right. Suzuki back. Track. Wall. Goodbye. Ball game. Another ninth inning walk-off home run. Kareem Garcia. And Omar. Swings and lines a base hit to left center. It's in the gap. David over to cut it off. He does. Vizquel digging for two. Now dropped by David. Trying to score Selby. Garcia Parra relay to the plate. The slide. Set with the plate. The head first slide. Five in the tenth. The pitch. Swung on a roller. Hit to short. Baral boots it. And the game is over. Scoring the game winner is Vizquel. Baroa in his haste to turn two. Boots the ground ball, hit to him, it's short. And on first and third, nobody out. Todd Zeal, 0-2 count. That's it, and that's all. All they needed was a sack fly. Zeal did better. His 11th homer. We had Walker against Jan one more time. Walker singles up the middle. Pinch runner Mike Hampton. Plates and the Rockies get the victory. Eight. Yeah, when Larry was talking about the ashes raining from the sky, that was in reference to all those fires they've had in Colorado that have affected all of the whole state, basically. Todd Hollinsworth ends it there. Pro against Tampa Bay in the ninth. Tigers win on the walk-off wild pitch, the type of mojo associated with Tampa. Ten. Robert Fick facing Bob Wells. It's a live shot. Does it have enough height? And that's levitation, Holmes. It's out, and Fick... Wonderful story, not a wonderful story. But... Drama in the bottom tonight, 4-4, four, four, two on two out, Bobby Higginson. Get to the base! Oh, oh, he's gonna go, we're gonna have Here a play. McGee rounding third, the throw to the plate, the slide, he is out, now he dropped it! Safe and home plate of the Tigers sweep! Of course, the key to success, and in the bottom of the 10th, Halter, after pinch running, gets himself in at bat. Well, he can kind of jog there over Johnny Damon's head. Ground rule double, Damian Jackson will score, and the Tigers win by a count of 7 6. Now with two outs, inch. Little ground ball, Hillenbrand cuts off Nomar, tries to make the play, and mangles it. Damian Jackson scores the winning run, inches. Bottom of 10, Scott Mullen to Carlos Pena. Oh. God, walk off, Ron. What a body. It's been all over the place. Texas, then Oakland, now Detroit. Players like him. Just like the Tigers won that baseball game. Oh, it's wild. 4-2 Tigers. Bases loaded, two outs. Preston Wilson. Oh, little dribbler. This could do it. Benica stands up. No, he got no play. The Marlins win. Mike Redmond takes the next batter. Preston Wilson got Goodwood on that. Doug Glanville going back. A lot of real estate over his head. Game over. Marlins come back from 6 love to win at 7 6. Gonzalez again facing Brandon Puffer with one on. And Gonzalez after Luis Castillo snuck one over the head of Lance Berkman in center. And Castillo scores, and the Marlins win it 4 3. Attention, that's a dirty uniform. You're going to see why. After Luis Castillo just. He just axes one, and that's a mistake. Oh, he's safe! No ball was coming in there. Oh, it's dramatic slide for a over, but should have one last shot. Reigns in the at-bat. The veteran lifts the ball. Hey, one out. This is what you want. Is it deep enough? Fox tags up. And, you know, I had mixed feelings at the time. He came in and scored. End of ball game. That's the way it goes. What you have to do. Luis Castillo, see Jeff Torborg with him there. Says, hey, we have to win the game, too. And no matter what, runs in eight innings. Somebody's got to score. Victor Santos, Encarnacion, Juan Uribe, bobbles it, no double play. Homer Burst scores, and the Marlins win it. Looped in the shallow right foul ball, and Travis Lee makes the catch, but here comes Castillo, and he scores, and the game's over. That was a ball that Travis made a great catch. Six Hatman facing Daryl Ward. Let's see, Clubhouse Buffet is now open. Ward's second homer of the year off the foul pole. Astros win it by a count of 7-6. It's the first clearly. Bottom nine, game tied at one. Sean Lowe, Jose Vizcaino. 
Could it be a walk-off? It's Vizcaino's second home run since 1999. Astros win their seventh in a row, their first seven-game winning streak since a franchise. It's a tie ball game, 6-6. John Rocker is on. Craig Biggio in a breakout series. After an error out on the field, and Craig Biggio, it's got to feel good. He was six for nine after 11. Bottom of the 12th, though. Bases loaded. Jeff Bagwell, pinch hitting. How badly did he want this? On a 2-2, chased one outside, drives in the winning run, and he ends it. A very emotional moment after this game. Didn't take long. All teammates knew just how close he was with Darryl Cox. An 0-2 pitch, and it's got all of the plate and Zod. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did. Yes, he did. That's it, and that's all. Zahn's second home run of the year. And frankly, he's he's pretty excited. I'll let you watch. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Zahn. It's all yours. But his eighth ties the game at three in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. Julio Lugo, Brad Awesome is coming around. He is safe at the plate. Astros win 4 3. There, bottom 10, still tied at five. Biggio who had gone to third in a sack fly to right, he would score in a single. If he didn't get to third in the sack fly from Bagwell. Man up against Dirabu. Joe, help me, Randa. Help me get her out of my life. It's gone. A three-run ninth. Dirabu's actually been doing a pretty good job as a closer, but the Royals get three in the ninth. The uh, Braves catching the ball. That's what happened with the Cardinals, too. They're starting to catch the ball. Ibanez to right, walk-off shot. Timlin despondent. Upsets the extras and in the 11th. Brent Main ending the bonus baseball off. Juan Alvarez, a go-homer. His first career game-ender. The Royals now 6-0 at home against Texas. Lock him up. I wouldn't have Tucker. Never had a go-homer. Never had a game-ending blast. <laughs> I gotta get to use that statistic again, am I? Royals win at 5-3, Tucker's eighth. Royals win their seventh in a row. Haven't done that since 95. Tied at 12. Bases loaded, top 10. Ibanez hit by a pitch from Heath Murray. Brent Main will score. The bases were loaded. Ibanez with five RBIs. Royals trying to pull this out. Michael Tucker. The pitch off Terry Mulholland. Nabla comes in, scores the winning run, and the Royals win 3-2. Getting to the bottom of the 14th side of two, two on one out. Adrian Beltre, it's a flare. Ruben Mateo diving, can't get it. He gambled, it rolled past him. Sean Green scores the winning run in the bottom of the 14th. The Dodgers find a way to beat the Road Wolf. Two men on, Mark Corey on the hill. Jeff Rebele single to center. Eric Karros coming around. Timo Perez up throwing, and look at that terrible hop. And the run scores, and Jim Tracy, Marquise Grissom, they are loving it. As Ravine, Adrian Beltre in the top of the, or bottom of the tent. On first with Green at the plate. That's driven to right center field. Beltre's gonna come all the way around. First, he scores. Dodgers win it dramatically in 10. And we go to the ninth, 3-3. Paul LaDuke with the bases loaded. Kevin Grybowski. Got him. He protests, but mm, I hear Richmond's nice. 4 3 Dodgers win. Oh. Brian Jordan would get very angry. Jordan, two out, game winning hit. Grissom would score. Jordan, 76 RBIs, two for five in this game, and the Dodgers stay alive. Still three back of the Giants with four to play. High fly ball into deep left field. She's away out and gone. The Dodgers are still alive as they win. We'll go to extras in the bottom of the left. Sanchez now with the dish. Why don't you make up for that, son? Jeff Lucero just by the shortstop. Corey Patterson the throw home. Jose Hernandez this time. Judd says he's safe, and the Brewers get their first extra inning win in six games this season, 6-5 and 11. Bottom 10, the former Rocky Alex Ochoa. He's a former. I think he's been. Has he been on every team? <laughs> but he comes through here, scores Eric Young, ball game. Milwaukee wins it. Final score, 
Shane Rays and Twins in the bottom of the 10th. Steve Kent is on. Corey Koski puts this deep. Jason Tyner going back, and this is a crushing loss for the Devil Rays. 7-6. It's a seven-game losing streak. 2-2. Bases are loaded for Christian Guzman, and, you know, you can hit the walk-off homer, or you can get an infield single. That's just as effective. Look at it one more time. Damian Jackson, good glove, but just the momentum too far going away from the bag. Can't do it just like that. The Twins win. Same infield configuration. Guzman back at the plate. Hits it to left field, and it's the little used sacrifice fly sports center highlight. Deep enough to score the game winner, and the Twins take it. Seven to six. Guard down. Five to RBI. Christian Guzman in the bottom of the 15th extra innings. Guzman off a of carry Leitenberg off the wall. Tom Prince heads home. And Tom Prince will be a king because he beats the throw. And the Twins win. Leitenberg had gone 11 straight. Of that is filthy. Kadire goes down. He actually had swung at ball four in that same at bat. The Twins would have won the game earlier. They do here, though, in the 11th with two men down. This is two great wins for the Twins. Koski, one for eight in his career against Kelvin Escobar. 2 0 pitch. That's a walk off base hit. Bobby Kilty started the rally with a pinch hit single off Escobar. He scores. Ninth win in 10. And bags full for David Ortiz facing Antonio Osuna. Ortiz would walk three previous times. Singles in the game winning run. You know what? They had intentionally walked Corey Koski before Ortiz came up to the plate to load the bases, and that backfired. That'll learn you. Ortiz is a 13 game hitting streak. Best effort of the year. Did eight strikeouts through six. Bottom 10. 3 3. Torrey Hunter, the rally cap on. One out. Mm. Luis Rivas. Daryl May deep to left for a solo shot. The Twins come from behind to win for 33. One out. There's your defensive alignment. Corey Koski hits one at first. Jan Perry, the stop, throws home, and he hits Koski square in the chest. And Tory Hunter plates the winning run, but there's no celebration because Koski is down for the count. This is out number two as he touches first with the ball and then right in Koski's chest. He would be carted off to the hospital. Put him up, Bobby Kelty. This guy has had a very unnoticed, outstanding look to you. Here's the tag. Magruder, Ryan. Oh, Good nice. slide. Wow. Reds, that smart though. Bottom 12, tied at five. Ortiz against Dave Mara. Out to Rice, right center. Coco Crisp comes up short, though. Check out Ortiz's stroll. 20th homer of the year. Slow your roll on your stroll. Twins win 7-5 in 12 innings. They will walk Vlad Guerrero to bring up Cabrera. And Cabrera in a 6-6 game. Two out hits are the key to life. Eric Owens not going to get that. Vidra will score the winning run. And Yupi lives. Frank Robinson of the Expos. 7 to 6 your final down is on to the 15th inning. Jose Vidro to center. Alex Sanchez. Oh no! <laughs> and that'll do it. Mike Mordecai scores. Montreal in 15. Excuse me. Division leading Montreal with three knocks on the night. We're tied at five. Bottom 12. Jose Vidro up. Bloop me. Two men on against Rick White. Vidro to center. Mike Mordecai scores. And UP Expos win it, ending their six game lose. Bottom 10, bases loaded. Brad Wilkerson off Chris Hammond. And it's a cue shot. There was like a little T ball hit. And what do you know? Hammond's throw to first, not in time. Lee Stevens comes in to score, and the Expos win a bizarre game. This is the game for Philadelphia. Extra innings. Bases loaded. Jose Vidro. He had Vladdy on deck. Vladdy's not batting. Jose Vidro, walk off, grand slam, 13 to 9. A lot of twists and turns in that game. End of inning, miss a chance. And here in a tie ball game, Mike Mordecai against Kelvin Escobar. Troy O'Leary coming around. He's going to try to score, and indeed he does. Whoa, whoa, got away. Jose Macias lays down the butt. And we've got a throw in the dirt. Fables can't handle it. Mullen gets the air. Guerrero comes in to score. Expos win five to four. They've got 25 home wins, most in the National League. I would just watch him throw. I mean, he's worth the price of admission just to watch him throw the baseball. Jose Vidro, and this ball game is over. What a game they did put on. The Expos win it six to five. Bottom 10 still tied. Vlad Guerrero, in order to keep my rep up, yeah, no, I got to step up. His 27th, Expos win 5-4. Look at Young Young Kim. Just get out of here. 
Expos get their major league leading 23rd one run victory this season. Bottom nine. Tied, first pitch. In order to keep my rep up, you know I gotta step up. The game winner, Guerrero's 28th. Schilling said all the pitches were the same. I just didn't execute that pitch. I left it up, hung it, he hammered it. Expos the Major League Best 24 one-run victories this season. Since May 14, 2000, they hit into one against the Marlins earlier this year. And in the next innings, a walk-off base hit for Brad Wilkerson. Expos win 7-6. Bring it in Kevin Grabowski to face Edgardo Alfonso opposite way. Crowded Shea going wild. Jay Payton scores. And the Mets come back and defeat the hated Braves in 12. Bottom of the 10th. Base is loaded for the Mets. Jay Payton facing Vic Derensburg, Rayo Dornez. Ray can't watch, but it's really the fish that shouldn't be watching. Four walks equals a run and a win. That's it. That's all. The Mets win it 5-4. to four. Mets had a grand total of six hits. Two out. Mo Vaughn. Check swing grounder to the third. Joe Randa's throw. Dicey to first. And Tony Tarasco scores all the way from second base. Check out the replay. Tarasco never stopped running from second. And the Mets get the victory. Their third straight. 4-3 is the final. Make it eight straight losses. So Vaughn is up. And they don't go to the shift this time. And Vaughn right back through the box. That's the game winner. Mo Vaughn is rejuvenated. Random, we go bottom half. Juan Cruz. Oh, <laughs> ouch, Jeremy Bernitz. Now remember, next September, we made the bet on the 10 o'clock show. I bet that Jeremy Bernitz will hit 35 home runs next year. And I take that. And again, bottom 12, tied at two, but not in this game. Runner at third, Roger Cedeno just put the ball in play to third, throw home off, Mets win in 12 innings. Drama. Bottom 11, Essex Sneed. First major league home run for Essex Sneed, a three-run shot off Dan Smith. Walk off Essex Sneed, Mets win 6-3 didn't go at home, wait for him to come back. Anyway, bottom nine, Fonzo Soriano. Thanks, I'm now 27 of 57. And Williams cut down the go-ahead run in the bottom of nine, scores the winning run in the top of nine, and the Yanks win it by a count of six to five. Jeremy swims to drive the deep right center. Way back, this one is gone. The Yankees have won the ball game on a grand slam home run by Jason Giambi. 12 is your final score. Modesty flies out, bringing Posada to the plate. Posada, single ball game. Yanks win it 2-1. Pettit, impressive, nine innings pitched, 11 hits, one and run, six Ks. I don't know if you actually scatter 11 hits, but if you only allow one run, that ain't so bad. You do when you Career average with the bases loaded, 15 career grand slams. Doesn't need a slam here. That's more than enough as the winning run comes in, and the Yanks win it 9-8. Jorge 0 for his last 13. It doesn't matter. On a 3-2 pitch, Uget Urbina walks him. Walks in the winning run. Ball game. Busy night for Hernandez. Still tied, bottom 11. Nick Johnson up the middle off of B.J. Ryan. Jorge Posada scores. Orioles have lost 17 of 18. Yankees win in the 11. Their magic number is now nine. But I, Dan Maselli to Carlos Pena. Will the ballpark hold it? No, get out of town, and he means it a walk-off home run. And the A's win three to two. Pena doing it to his former team. Troy Percival comes on to close it out, but here's his first two men on, and look out! Greg Myers drills it, full game, that fast. One shot, and it's all over. Threat, bottom 10, Terrence Long facing Shig Hasegawa. Deep center field. Deep center field, you heard the man. Jermaine Dye will score all the way from second. There he is, round and third, headed for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. He's win it by a count of three. But it's everyday Eddie. Could he close it out? And a word, no. That's it, that's all. Almedo side, pinch hitting, and that ends the ball game. Almedo signs with the second pinch hit game ending homer of the year for the A's. Everyone's lost their mind. Pitching power. Nuts. Bottom nine. Bases loaded. A's down one. Hatterberg gets past Abanez. A, a bunch of crazy stuff happens. Long and Greg Myers score. And the A's somehow win this game. And to top it off, 
AL West behind Seattle and hosting the Royals. Bottom nine, KC up 3-2. Roberto Hernandez trying to close after blowing the save the previous night against the A's. And John Mabry gets the winning hit as the ball gets tangled up in the bullpen. Two runs come in, and the A's win 4-3. Oakland 16-5 in one-run games. That is the best such record in the major league. Berba finally gets it straightened out. And that was not what Pudge was asking for. He pops Almeida, signs, that's the ball game. Signs is the hero. So then it's a 5-4 Minnesota lead. In the bottom of the ninth, though, Miguel Tejada with two men on. One swing of the bat, and it's over. It's all over. Probably the most dramatic finish of any game this season. Well, it was an interesting finish because they got a walk from the lead. What do you have now? And it's the my drive great hit center field. Greg Myers scores from third. Tejada wins another ball game. 19th straight for the Athletics. They've tied the all-time American League record. Pinch hitter Scott Hatterberg to be a hero. Swung on, fly ball, deep right field. They've done it again. Scott Hatterberg off Jason Grimsley. It's Miguel Tata, he's struggling. He's 5 for 28. Tejada delivers. Ray Durham coming home. Durham rolls around. Tejada does his thing thing when it counts. The rally monkey, where you at? You're done. Eight. Players, ball game. Second on the year. Phillies win 3 2 and 11. Pearl, the number one pick in the 98 draft, had never homered to end it. Third homer of the season ties it at five in the bottom of the 11. Pat Burrell didn't start this game, but he certainly finished it off of Kerry Leitenberg. Phillies win it 7-5. It's a second walk-off homer and four games for Burrell. Bottom of the ninth, Ricky Lede coming up in a tie game. One-two pitch. Hit in the air to deep right field. Hidalgo going back, looking up. Say goodbye. Home run, Ricky Lede. Put this one in the wind column for the fighting field. But here in the bottom of the tent is Scott Rowland. Scott Rowland, base hit. That'll do it. Scott Rowland, a very big. Next batter, pinch hitter Jason Michaels with an 0 2 count. Are you kidding me? Over the head of Lofton. Lieberthal will trot home. The Phil score three in the ninth to shock the White Sox. Michaels hitting 3 0 2 in his first year as a bench player. Mm, there goes the win and the decision. Bottom 10, bases loaded. Travis Lee. That's a double play ball, except Mark Bellhorn tries to. Oh, boy. All you got to do is get the double play instead. Spends his time with Burrell, and Travis Lee gets to first. He's safe. Winning run scores just like that. The Phillies are up 4-3. Burrell said he was just trying to break up the DP. Back up the ball. What a great oh. ball. Sour back throws. Safe. Safe to first. Safe at first. A bad throw by Sour back in this game. Jack Wilson on third, Brian Giles on second. Two out, full count for pinch hitter Keith Osick facing Antonio Alfonseca. And there's your ball game. Pirates, 8-8 eight, eight in the 11th, Craig Wilson. Bases loaded. And there it is. Wilson scores Wilson. Craig to left, Jack comes in, Pirates win 9-8 in 11. Bad news for the Giants. Giles' career against Nen, three for four with two home runs. This isn't a homer, but it's in the gap. Kenny Lofton's fast. But he ain't that fast. He's going to roll all the way to the wall. Kendall and Wilson speeding in to score. The Pirates win and victimize Rob Nen for the fifth time. Gets him on the off-speed pitch now. Brian Giles with a couple men on and nobody out. Into the corner and Rob McCowiak will come in to score. Pittsburgh gets its first one to nothing extra inning game victory since... Bottom nine tied at four. Runner on third for Jack Wilson. And Jack steps on that one. That'll land softly. Mike Benjamin scores. Let's all go home. Pirates win 5 4. Stay that way into the ninth. Base is loaded. Who is your hero now? Jimenez! D'Angelo Jimenez. Padres 5, Montreal 4. Keep the runner on for Ryan Klesko facing Joey Eichen. Take away the C and H. You get Rich Eisen, who did the game for ESPN. Off the wall, and that is your walk-off single for Klesko. Game over. Klesko was 0 for 6 before. Let's do nothing. We go bottom nine. 
In a 3-3 game with two down, Mark Kotze hits one between Alomar and Vaughn. Game, set, match, bus. Vaughn's not on fire in 45. Phil Nevin up, game over against Jason Christensen. Phil Nevin, his first career walk-off home run, four for five in this game, three RBIs, and the Padres can celebrate, but unfortunately they shut off all their fireworks. <laughs> Let's have runners in the corner. Run game. That's it and that's all. He smokes one out for a three-run game-ending home where the pods come all the way back from 4 nothing to win it. Rod Gant said he didn't want to be there for a 16-inning game. In the third and a couple out, Sean Burris up again in September and happy 22nd birthday. Cake for him. Game-winning single. Lampkin scores. Padres take it 3-2. L.A. San Francisco start the day tied, finish it the same way. Tied. Brett Boone with two down. And Boone comes through with the base hit. That scores Guillen to win the game. And the Mariners win 7-6. to six. They The base is loaded. Maselli the 3-1. And there's a ball game. Maselli comes in, faces one guy, walks in the winning run. Game's over. M's win 3-2. Rangers bullpen. Those men is Ichiro on third base. John Olerud grounds it to Joey Lawrence, who's right there. But Ichiro, he's swift. And the Mariners win this game in extras 5-4. Ichiro's got an eight-game hit streak. Next batter, Mike Cameron. He hit four home runs a week ago. That is ball four. That's it, and that's all. Mark McLemore comes on in, touches the dish, and the Mariners win it. Base is loaded for Mark McLemore. It's a squeeze. Desi Relaford scores the winning run. McLemore credited with a hit. M's get 14 hits in their 5-4 win. Game still tied at five. Ichiro facing Rich Rodriguez. He's a 520 hitter with the bases loaded. Rodriguez walks him on four straight pitches. Mike Cameron, come on down. Good night now, because there's a party over here. That's bottom 10 now. Still twos, Carlos Guillen. Two out knocks are the key to life. On CJ Nikowski, Donnie Sadler cannot get to it. Jose Offerman scores. Seattle now nine and four next innings win this one. 3-2. So vociferous, sir. At any rate, Ruben Sierra made it a move point in extra innings. The base is loaded. Fly ball down the left field line that falls in safely, and the Mariners win 3-2 in. Bonds hitten by the dock of the bay. Bonds down the line. Hits it well. Look it up. It is out of here. We're going home. You know, we come this close to hitting two again in the same game. Number five on the season. Take another look, and it just does clear the wall out there and right. The Giants win 3-1. Jordan scores to tie the game at one. That, of course, sets the stage for Barry in the Wonderful. bottom of the ninth, and he goes with the pitch. And remember when he hit the walk-off home run, he said he didn't like playing extra innings because they don't get paid for overtime. Well, there you go. No overtime here. Barry wins it. Driving in David Bell. 4-3. Bottom 10. Tied to 5. Benito Santiago against Luis Pineda, with whom he exchanged words on Friday night after a couple of brushback pitches. Santiago gets the last lap. Giants win it. 6-5. to five. Four wide and take your base. So that gives Jeff Kent 3-2 count. And well, they didn't mean to walk him on purpose. Chris Hammond walks in the winning run. Giants take it by a count of 7-6. Santiago. And we'll just extend the hitting streak. We'll end the game with one swing of the bat. Giants win a 1-0. Trim the Arizona lead in the West to half a game. 12th, JT Snow facing Rodney Myers. Two on, one out. And he comes up large, singling in Reggie Sanders. That's your game winner. The Giants 5-0 in extra inning games this year. Butler to Juan Uribe picks it up and gets his man. Fast forward, bottom nine, game tied at two. Jose Jimenez against Reggie Sanders. Ball game. There we head to extras. Bottom ten, runners on the corners. Antonio Alfonseca, Benito Santiago, a number. Jeff Kent hits the dirt. That's it. That's all. Giants win a... An Ramirez ties the game, but the Giants come on to win the game. As Ramon Martinez pinch hitting for Nen, scores Sanders. Better is Reggie said, you will pay for your transgressions. To right, Jose can't get it. Top Goodwin come to score the pinch runner. Giants win it. 1-0, they do win the players are game. Bottom nine, Benito Santiago came into the game 75 years old. To center off, BK Kim, Jeff Kent scores. Another bottom ninth win for the Giants, 4-3. Dusting the dugout, Sykes, San Fran has won 10 of 13. Benito actually just 37. In the right field, a base 
10. The throw by Drew to the plate. The Giants are going to the World Series. 11 still locked up. Eduardo Perez is over the season. He now has his first hit. And it's of the game-winning variety. And with that, the Brewers, who once had a 5-0 lead, are wiped to full screen. 6-5, the final card's coming from 5 down. Side, it motivates your team. So, bases loaded, two outs. Eli Marrero in the bottom of the nine. Bounces one off the wall. J.D. Drew scores. Cards take it 2-1. to one. Comes out to talk to Tim McClellan. Now, bottom nine, J.D. Drew, Ricky Stone, and I am William Wallace. Walk off home run for the first time ever in J.D. Drew's career, his seventh home run. Garenteria up with two on, steps to the plate, John Miller at the mic. Next batter, it's Vina. And that will go down the line for a double. Renteria scores. Pyro comes home all the way from first. And that is a walk-off job. Led the minors in homers this year. 35 home runs in Nashville. Again, 34 years old. Here's the game winner driving in Edgar Renteria. You think this guy has some desire and that enthusiasm? Is awesome. That is a great story. <laughs> and I know Yvonne Cruz. With two outs, Edgar Renteria. Off the left field line. Pinch runner So Taguchi comes in, and he is So Taguchi. Cardinals win 3-2. D-backs have lost a season high five in a row. One, well, we go to extras. Randy Wynn. Facing Jeff Farnsworth, runners on first and second. Win in the left, Bobby Higginson sells out. Had to kind of pick his spot, come up and get it or not. And so we stay tied at four. Later in the tenth, base is loaded. Ben Breve off Pasquale Imogene Coco. Randy Wynn scores the Devil Rays. Brett Abernathy RBI single, Randy Wynn. And there it goes! Number three for Wynn, and it's over. It is over. Randy Wynn, a two-out, three-run home run in the bottom of the ninth. Can't blame that on Stephen King. Al McCray. Bottom 13th, runner on second. There's Vaughn at the dish one more time, and that bat is not broken. Off the wall, Russ Johnson will trot in to score, and the Devil Rays win it. By a count of 4-3, season high three hits for Vaughn. Uh, hustle there. Tied at five, bottom 12. Man on second for Brent Abernathy. Base hit to left off Vladimir Nunez. Tim Raines throw. Hits Cox in the shoulder. He scores. Tampa Bay does win. No decision. Bottom 10, bases are juiced. Ben Grief of John Halama. Not a yak, Halama. Great. Through the, through the drawn in infield, Steve Cox scores. Sometimes you got to let it go. On Garcia's third home run. Bottom nine, two outs, runners on the corners. Drama in Tampa. Mark Wars pitching to Andy Sheets on a 3 2 count. Oh, yeah, the game, the result, what happens? Jason Conte, the winning run on third for Tampa Bay. Andy Sheets is a story to tell in the offseason. Driving in the game winner beating Sterling Hitchcock and the Yanks in extras. Bottom nine, no outs, tied at five. Gabe Kapler flying to shallow left. If Rafael Palmoro scores, Hideki Arabu on the online to get the win. Yes! Hideki Arabu, the sixth pitcher for the Rangers to get a win this season. Six, five. Bottom nine now, bases loaded, nobody out. J.C. Romero to Todd Green. Redemption is so sweet. That's it and that's all. Ball game, Calvin Murray comes on in. Minnesota's three-game winning streak ends. They right, we go to the bottom of the ninth. Here's Pudge Rodriguez. Deep drive, left center. Get the fireworks out. Home run for Pudge, and it's over. So they blow the lead, but they come right back. Jesus Colome on the hill. Within one at 6-5. Bottom nine tied up. Pinch hitter Frank Catalano facing Julio Logo. Past the second baseman, Mike Lamb comes in, and the Rangers win in dramatic fashion, 7-6. The 0-1 pitch. Hit in the air to center field. This game is over. That ball is gone. It's a walk-off grand slam on Alex Rodriguez's 27th birthday.
this game up at five. And then in the bottom of the ninth, tied again at five. He leaves. Tony, someone suggested those in Cooperstown, in particular this year, that he may be the greatest to ever play the game. Time will tell. Uh, but what he's doing right now is pretty impressive. And, you know, screwed up. Anyway, look at this. Todd Green off of Arthur Rhodes. Who screwed up now? A game-winning walk-off homer. You know, if the M's miss the playoffs, they're going to look back at these three losses against the last place Texas Rangers. Bald is beautiful, a victory for Texas. Hatters later, Jimenez facing Joe Lawrence, first and third, and Lawrence to right field. Chris Woodward is going to score. The whole place is shaking. They don't know what to make of this Toronto team, which has won four in a row in nine of ten. Wow. Very nice. Six and one under Carlos Tosca. Eric Kinski. Matt Hurgis on the hill, and there it goes. The walk-off home run for Hinsky. And the Jays win at 5-4. Hinsky's first career walk-off homer. He does it with 30 family members and friends in the stands. Hinsky leads all rookies in the American League at home runs. Hinsky leading off the inning and sitting on a pitch. Gone. Second walk-off home run, Hinsky. Has given the Jays the win, and he's pretty impressed. Oh, wow. That, I don't think I've ever watched a home run like that before. Carlos Delgado says, you know what, to us, you're still a rookie. 